Hey, what is going on, people? Welcome back to the boat, and we're ready to continue our playthrough here in Dark Souls Remastered. In the last episode, we took down um, the Father of Abyss, Magnus, and now she spawns here next to Atorius fighting ground in Morn of Sorotorius. You, is that not the soul of the man who fell on this boat? He was a dear friend. I wish to pay proper respect with that soul. Would you be willing to part with it? Yeah, we are a peaceful pyromancer as we promised. So yes, let's be let's You're give a friend. Kind. Please take this. I no longer need it. The gold tracer, dark silver May tracer. The Lord guide you. May the Lord guide she doesn't intend to talk after you have spoken to her and you may not have uh, is there any way that we can know if she's hollow uh, probably through the ear no that's not the ear yeah probably she's half hollow already but she still wants to pay respect to her friends so part of human is still remaining in her let's just leave her the soul if we don't give her the soul she will start to become hostile and she, is it hostile I, yeah you, you can provoke her by by attacking her that is of course uh, the most importantly uh, by killing her you get access to the weapons so yeah, our, our choice here is just to be peaceful. And that boss fight is pretty iconic. So probably in the future streams, if we have time, we'll probably just fight her in the next playthrough. Now let's talk to our guy here. Mm, a visitor have we? Thou must be the one who freed Artorias. An old friend he was. Thanks to thee. He left this world with honor intact, and here I am, retired and blind. Of little help to thee, I'm afraid. If thou seekest to explore this domain, be wary of a black dragon. I fear thee no match for this terrible beast. And from here you can buy all the goodies here and just before uh, before we really do anything uh, I think no let, let's just do it here don't waste time yeah you can go down to the valley where column meet where you fight column meet and you can grab a couple loot but he will just fly around killing you so if you keep talking to him, he will shoot that dragon down. Oh, so you have to initiate the encounter before he could help you. Oh, okay. I thought that we could just do it here. I guess not. Let's make our way down to the valley where we fight the dragon. For all my past playthroughs, I have never cut off its tail. And a lot of people been saying it's easier for you to do co-ops. To cut off the tail of Kalamit, which gives a good weapon, a dex weapon, but I have never done it. So, well, I will try to do that in this playthrough, and uh, hopefully, I get some good results here. And uh, there are a couple of doggos here around. You, you see the wiggly thingy in the distance? They will come charging right now. 
Eat this, doggos. Soul item. Yeah, th this guarding ability is really strong as well. You can use it as a shield. Jump at me. Come on, try it again. Bad doggo. Now die. <clears throat> that should be... See, we do take a little damage, but overall, it's not that bad. I think that's a minimal damage. There are quite a few loots around here that you can get. But, like the dragon in Undead Burg, this guy here, he will rush down to just spit fire on you. He should be coming right now. That's how annoying this guy is. After he leaves, you can bait him again. Go in for the loot. Come out immediately. Those black plane is also the pyromancy that we picked up in the chasm of abyss. think you could sub survive through that and there goes our humanity all right now we have seen the dragon now let's talk to the giant here to witness a one of the most iconic cutscene here. Tomorrow, Black Dragon Nidira. Yes. Uh, yes. I've told as much. He's called Kalamit, a versus dragon indeed. Even mighty Anna longer dared not provoke his ire. I see little good coming from this, but my intent is to persevere to the bitter end. Yes. <laughs> good, good. What is bravery without a dash of recklessness? I've taken a liking to thee, and I owe thee much for thy service to Artorias. Now, watch and see how God hunts.
I mean, if anything, Gog is the slayer of the dragon, it's not us. Your shot was never loosed. That back will be grounded for a good spell. The rest is in thine hands. I await good tidings. Ah, dragon slaying. Knighthood's highest calling. And yep. He is an ancient dragon. Strive it or no, he will not be put down easily. Dragons show me. We knights fought valiantly, but for every one of them, we lost three score of our own. Exhilaration, pride, hatred, rage. Dragons teased out our dearest emotions. Thou will understand one day. At that twilight, old thoughts return in great waves of nostalgia. I suspect thou hast taken Gander at him, but the dark of the abyss, which swallowed poor Artorias, Threatens to devour our entire land of Ulysseal. It seems that this dire fate is unavoidable, but seduced by a dark serpent or no, they awoke that thing themselves and drove it mad. One's demise is always one's own making. Now, do not mistake my words. I cherish my work. Wood carving is a nuanced art. I would have much to talk about with that blacksmith. In truth, how is the old chap, I wonder? Still hammering away, I should hope. Now, do not mistake my... I, I would have... In truth, still... Okay, so the blacksmiths, so I would say, I, I would say he's referring to the blacksmith of his size. So there is only one, and uh, Soratorius is the knight that has been sent out by Arno Londo, the kinship. And the lady that we just spoke to, she's from Nolondo as well. They came to this land trying to solve the abyss problem, then got swallowed by the abyss. Now this guy here, he refers to the blacksmith. So I believe that's a blacksmith in Nolondo. And before we go there, yeah, we will need these rings on. And need the fire defense here real quick and just the rest and now we'll be taking on color meat the formidable dragon and hopefully I can chop off his tail just like this probably gonna need uh, three to five swings and I hope I can just chip those in and we'll be good difficult to fight this agile mobs you need to do a good old prediction shot and try not to lock onto them if you want to do it better now let's head into the boss room and let's chop off his tail You stay here. You 
could take the ladder, but I think this way is easier. Do your thing. Do your thing so I can count out your health. really want something that has an uppercut yeah I could I could sprint attack to the tail that would work in this game in my doggo could kill you always stay close to that guy so that way we don't we don't get chained into those stupid fire spitting spells. <coughs> By the way, this is not a a must buy boss. Oh no. Let's try ignore the doggos here since we got enough stamina to just sprint through and just go through the far gate here. Doggos.
No. Barely missed it. Jab. Ouch, ouch. Uh, let me think, where is the best place that you could stand here? Get this fat dragon. Oh, uh, I missed it. That's a good jab. Obsidian Greatsword, let's go guys. Got a little greedy here. Another chug. Ouch. 
Boom! Eat this! Whew. Whew. What a fight! Man, th this great sword is doing work. And now let's check our trophy here. Obsidian great sword. Where is it? Show me my goodies here. Man, I'm so hyped. It's the first time that that I did it. Okay, here it is. Wow. It weighs only 8. Right, you need to invest a little bit of dex into it. Uh, it's a great sword. It's not ultra great sword. And compare the damage. 320 and we're at 585. At plus 5. Wow, this... Yeah, I cannot wield this weapon effectively yet. The moveset is just Claymore's moveset. And you can do a cool attack just like that. Great PvP weapon, I would say. And we get to loot this. God's Great Arrow. So he shot him three times, not one. <laughs> Just messing with, with him. Yeah, taking a heavy weapon, whacking it two times would do the trick. You cannot manage to lock on and do the fight because this fight will be pretty hard if you play lock on style. Tight night slab. I can I can grab that loot every day, twice on Sundays. Alright, so that's that's a pretty cool boss fight. Uh, there's nothing more here. And let's take a homeward bone and that wraps up the DLC content here. I miss anything we went to the painted world of Ariamis and we came to Ulasil then we what is left for us is to conquer the four kings and we've been to the dev everywhere okay so let's head back to Firelink Shrine And let me take a look at the time here. Yeah, we're we're at sharp 30 minutes around this point. I'm pretty pleased. I thought that's gonna give me another bonkers time to do the boss fight and all that. So that that was a pleasant change. Since we upgraded some vitality, we have been crushing the game. Yep. So up get some vitality on in concurrent with the stamina. You will need stamina, but you will also need your vitality up high in order for you to do anything effective. Okay, so let's wrap up this one here, and in the next episode, we'll take on New Londo, Ruins, and the Four Kings. Alright, stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video.